What's going on YouTube? My name is Trey Kepsel and this is Elk Motorsport. Well guys, I got done with my turnaround, so now I've got the time that's needed to film installing the Zooks Off-Road transfer case cradle, as well as rebuilding the transfer case. So without further ado, let's get to it.
All right, guys. Over here on the left, I got the Zoops Off-Road Transfer Case Cradle. And here on the right, you have the stock mount. Now, as you can just see by looking, there is a great deal of difference between the two. The stock mount is just two little pieces of bit up metal. There's really no support at all. It really just holds that transfer case in place. And it has these rubber mounts, which everybody knows they're notorious for going bad, especially whenever you do gears or you do any sort of aggressive off-road, you have any lift, anything like that. They are slightly reinforced where they bolt up to the transfer case on both of them, but they have no structural support for the case whatsoever. Now, the Zoops Off-Road transfer case cradle has multiple places to actually bolt to the physical case. And it comes with the similar bushings that are in that heavy duty transmission mount that I have, the same type of bushings that are actually used in a leaf spring and their polyurethane. This uh, transfer case cradle does come bare metal, so I had it powder coated. You can paint them, it's not a big deal. They come numbered for the warranty. They offer, Zoops Off Road offers a lifetime warranty on this transfer case cradle. In case it breaks, they'll replace it for you. And this thing is beefy. I mean, it's awesome. It even has its own little skid plate on it, which is pretty cool. Another thing it comes with, it comes with these pieces of plate steel that actually take the place of these rubber mounts. You'll notice they give you four of them, even though there's only three mounting spots. This one right here actually goes up on the passenger side mount. So as you can see in this particular mounting spot, it's not flat. There's a little opening in there. This piece will slide into that opening a little bit and you'll just line up that hole and then your bolt will go through. And it will give you a nice flat surface to mount that mount on. There's the stock driver side mount that we have an upgraded one from Zoop Software that we'll be replacing it with. And then right here, part of where the drive shaft goes through and the transmission mount is, there's your other matching spot. Well guys, that does it for this video. In the next video, I'm gonna show y'all how to rebuild the transfer case and to check it to see if you need to adjust it with shims or not. Be sure to hit like if this was content that you enjoyed watching, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that way you can stay up to date on what I've got going on in the shop. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.